Hi everyone. If you are working with IBM SPSS version 26 and performing multi-level uh, regression analysis, uh, you may have run into a problem when it comes to requesting an unstructured uh, covariance matrix at level 2. And so what I thought I would do is demonstrate the problem and show you a quick fix to it. So this data set uh, is associated with a presentation by Heck and colleagues uh, from 2014, their book on uh, multi-level modeling with IBM SPSS. Uh, and with this data set, we have students who are clustered within schools. The level one outcome variable are students' achieve, uh, math achievement scores. The level one predictor is socioeconomic status. Uh, and then there's our school code right there. So that's uh, reflecting the level two units. So let's go ahead and, and, and perform a quick analysis um, and to demonstrate our problem. So we're going to go up to Analyze, Mix Models, go to Linear, and go and reset that. So I'm going to move the school code variable over to the subjects box. We'll click on Continue. We're going to go ahead and move Math to the Dependent Variable box, and we'll move SES to the Covariates box. Under Fix, we're going to move SES over, since that's going to be our, our level one predictor. Continue. Under Random, we're going to move school code over to the Combinations box, and we will click on Include Intercept. We'll also include uh, move SES over. So by doing this, we're going to allow the intercepts to randomly vary across the schools and the slope for SES to randomly vary. The default covariance type is variance co components, and it would be the same as with if we requested diagonal uh, uh, covariance matrix. Basically, the variance variances of the intercepts and slopes are going to be estimated, but the covariance between them will not be. So let's just really quickly run the analysis just with this specification. So we'll uh, leave estimation as it is with uh, restricted maximum likelihood. We'll, uh, under statistics, we'll ask for parameter estimates for fixed effects, test for covariance parameters, and covariances of random effects. We'll click on continue and then on OK. So looking at our output, you can see under the model dimension that we have random effects, intercept, and SES. We have uh, variance components set for the covariance structure. Number of parameters is two, and that's because we're estimating the variances of the intercepts and slopes. If we scroll down, you can see that under estimates of covariance parameters, we have the level one, uh, the variance of the level one residuals, variance of the intercepts, and then the variance of the slopes that are given right there. Now let's rerun the analysis, but ask for an unstructured covariance matrix. So I'm going to go back to linear, continue, and under random, we are going to reset this and set it to unstructured. So now this is going to allow uh, a covariance to be estimated between the, ver the intercepts and the slopes uh, with uh, across the group. So we'll click on continue and then on OK. Now you'll notice that under the model dimension table, we have under covariance structure, it says identity. Uh, and this is not what we were requesting. We were, were requesting um, there to be uh, variances and covariance uh, estimated in, uh, for the intercepts and slopes. You also see that the number of parameters is one. So in other words, it's treating the variances of the intercepts and slopes as being the same. And if we scroll down, you can see under estimates of covariance parameters, uh, just one variance estimate that's uh, being treated as common across the uh, estimates of uh, f uh, the uh, intercepts and the slopes. So that's the problem that I'm referring to. So if I want to address that problem, the easiest way to do this is to go under uh, and go back through and go under continue. We'll leave everything the way it was, but in this case, we'll click on paste. So when I click on the paste, I'll get a syntax file, and you'll see that uh, in this last line right here that's specifying the covariance matrix at level two, you'll see it says covariance type, and it's got ID, and that is basically where the problem lies. So what we want to do is instead of having this set as ID, we are going to remove that and type in UN, and that is for unstructured covariance matrix. So when I highlight all of this and run it, you'll see, first off, the warning message is about the model, not about the, uh, there's not an error in terms of the what we just did. But you'll see right here, it's got covariance structure. Now it says unstructured number of parameters is three. So now we're estimating the variances for the intercepts, slopes, and then also the covariance between the two. And if we scroll down, you can see under estimates of covariance parameters, 
you can see that uh, basically we have the uh, level one uh, residual variances, uh, the level two variances for the intercepts, variances for the slopes, and then also the covariance between the intercepts and slopes at level two. So basically, um, it, you know, if you if you have problems with the unstructured option uh, at level two or some of the other options, then again, uh, one way, an easy way around that is to use that pace function and then uh, where, where we're uh, laying out the random effects and the uh, covariance type at level two, just make that change. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So that concludes this uh, demonstration, and I appreciate you watching.